What up, Facebook, YouTube, Fister Prinster, SoundCloud, SoundQuick. Yo, and all points, thirsty ninjas. I don't like to use the word, uh, derogatory word, but I'll say Negroes. But, I, like, I'm a, like, <laughs> listen, like, I'm, I'm 48, 47, 48. And I've always been a thirsty dude when it came to my woman. Always. Like, and I've had plenty of women, so it's, it's, and I say that to say that, that it's not like I get one girl every now and then and then I'm all thirsty for her. No, man, I, I'm not, a, I'm not a slouch when it comes to the ladies, not whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I just, you know, I'm not really dating because, you know, I'm going to school and at my age trying to get a degree, whoo, it's... Yeah, it's competitive because my mind had to change. And it's in something that I'm not used to, like, you know, uh, doing. I'm getting one of health administration services. So I'm going to, you know, eventually be a boss or a manager or something like that in the health field somewhere. But, you know, but I'm used to doing, like, artsy stuff. I play the guitar, you know, and trust me, ladies love it when you play the guitar. You know, I sing. I write my own music, you know. And I went to two years of actually art school so I can draw, I can paint all that, but I wanted to get a degree in something that will stabilize my life, you know, but nonetheless, enough about me, uh, uh, and I'm ex-military, so I'm just saying, you know, I've, I've seen some things, I've been places, but when it comes to being thirsty, like every, look, I tried to get married when I was 19, I was engaged at 19, I was engaged, and I love my fiance, but you know, we, we didn't make it, and eventually, you know, things you know, just, things just didn't work out. I, I was engaged at 24, too. I was engaged at 24, I was. You know, so I've always been the dude who, when I had somebody, like, I loved, loved, I've always been all over that. Like, what, what, what she needed, like, I wasn't, like, when I, let me get, let me get this straight. When I'm catering to my woman, that's not being thirsty. That's catering to your woman. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to uplift your woman. You know, the last girl I was in love with, I constantly told her she was beautiful. You know, constantly. Uh, when she came to see me, you know, I, I was already in the kitchen cooking something. I was like, you're hungry, you thirsty, you want to go somewhere to eat, you want to eat in. Like, what do you, like, what do you, that's not being, like, there's nothing wrong with that. See, y'all so full of the radio and y'all are so full of the mixed messages or the just negative messages and the hoes and the bees and the and the, all the negativity and the man ain't supposed to have feelings and you and your feelings. You damn right I'm in my feelings. When it come to my woman, I get in my feelings. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Shoot, I get it. If I tell a woman I love her, you better believe I'm in my feelings. I'm there. Don't play with them. I'm in my feelings. All right, all right. Let's get that straight. I'm, I'm, I'm not like I'm there. Like I used to be kind of like, like really, like I, you know, singing and all that, to ladies. Like, but I found that women thought that I was soft because I didn't want to get angry. You know, I didn't like being angry. I still don't like being angry because that spirit of anger will make you do stuff. And then next, when it's all over, you'll be like, damn, what the hell did I just do? But when a man is catering to you, you know, I mean, when dude is, you know what I'm saying? He's loving all over you. He's trying to, he's trying to make sure you are right. You know, if you call him and tell him something happened, he jump in his wheels and, you know, he get out there to make sure you good. That's not like... There's nothing negative about that. That dude is supposed to be your shield in this world. He's supposed to take care of you. You know, last girl I love, she, you know, I told her, listen, I, like I'm 6'2, I'm 260. I was like, listen, I'm here to protect you. She told me she didn't need protecting. When you tell your man that, that takes away the armor that is for you against this cruel world. Because there are other men who don't feel that way about you. They do not value you. 
You want your man to be thirsty. All this derogatory about a man being thirsty and he's all over you. You, I'm going to tell you something. When the fits hits the shan, you're going to want somebody to be on your side. And most of you, what you do is you go get these clown dudes who don't give a damn about you. They knock you up. And then when that dude leaves you, you go back to the thirsty dude who loved you. But now he don't want you anymore because you raggedy. He loved you. He didn't love you. He didn't love you because he didn't have a choice. He loved you because you was his choice. There's a big difference. Out of all the millions of women in this world, this man was fixated on you. His heart was turned towards you. Now he can't even turn his face towards you because you raggedy. You got another man's baby, you know, in your belly or you didn't have the baby. And now you going to come to his door like that. Let me tell you, raggedy, you ra or you got children and he was offering to help take care of your children. No, nah, <laughs> you chicks got the game messed up. Y'all really do. Y'all don't. Y'all have no freaking clue what it is to have a man thirsty for you, hungry for your love, for your affection, for your food, for your attention, for your conversation, for your company, for your quietness, for your arguments, you know what I'm saying, for your, for your sex, for your kiss, for your prayers. I mean, just to, just to sit beside you, go for a ride with you, go to the park with you. Like, that's corny to y'all. A man want to take you and yours to the park, like to the zoo, like like out somewhere. Let's go, let's go mountain climbing. Let's go zip lining. Like, get on something new. Let's go, let's go, you know, hiking. Y'all so, yeah. You know, I took, I, you know, years ago, I, you know, I used to do this all the time. Now, if I was dating a young lady, I would take her out to the place called Old Man's Cave. I'd take her out there, and I'd get a cabin. I'd get a nice cabin, and I'd be like, "Come here, I'm gonna show you something. Let me show you the stars. I mean, let me show you the quiet outside of the city. Let me show you the beauty that this that the Lord has made for us in the middle of the night." Me take you where the dogs ain't barking and the guns ain't going off. Your phone ain't ringing. Leave your phone somewhere else. Leave it in the cabin because we not going to need it. Turn it off. And I took her out there. And you should have seen an expression on her face. She was like, wow. And I was like, yeah. Like there's a whole nother universe out here. But y'all so close minded. that y'all don't know how to appreciate each other. I'm glad I'm not a young man anymore. I'm glad I'm glad when I say that I mean I'm glad I'm, I'm not dating in my 20s because y'all are so retarded. <laughs> y'all got the game mixed up. You let me tell you ladies something. You better get yourself one dude. Turn off that Chris Brown stupidity talking about cheating on your man. Turn off anybody calling you a ninja. Turn off anybody calling you a hoe, a bee. Turn off all that negative music. Turn it all off. Get yourself one good God-fearing man because there's millions. Listen, to every major city, there's like one to 14 of you. He does not need you. He wants you. There's a difference. And when he's done wanting you, he's going to leave you. He's done. He's done with you. He's tired of your nonsense. You don't want to be there? Get out. Pretty doesn't, man. People don't care about pretty no more. They care about loyalty. If you're not loyal, if you're a raggedy chick, you want to be in the club every five seconds, go ahead. Take your raggedy ass to the club. I ain't got time to deal with that. I'm trying to be on some next level stuff. I'm trying to get this money. I'm trying to get these babies in college. I'm trying to get these, these I'm trying to get this, uh, go to work every day. If y'all not on that, man, I'm telling you, brothers, if your girl is not on that, get rid of your girl. I don't care if her booty big, so what? There are millions of big booty girls out there, trust me. Yo, I've been to five different countries. I'm telling you, when you, whenever you step foot in, in Europe, you'll see a whole different world. Like, it's, there are beautiful, <laughs> that one girl is not the end all to be all. There are beautiful women everywhere. And I mean that. I mean that. Go to Brazil. Go to Spain. I stepped foot in Spain. It was a whole new world. Don't get hooked up on that one raggedy chick if she don't want to be right. 
get rid of her. Son, get yourself a passport. Get on some new stuff. Catch a plane. Go visit some other countries, man, because you don't have to put up with that. And I'm telling you, when you come back and your whole mind is changed, you're looking at the same girl like, damn, I did all that for you. And you and you out there, you know, cheating on me and acting a fool. You don't appreciate the fact that I'm doing for you. Son, there are beautiful women. And you get yourself one of them lovely forms who will stick to you like glue. I'm telling you, the girl you got now is going to be mad as hell. And you know what? So what? It's your boy Tone, man. You ladies, you better get yourself somebody who's thirsty, who's all over you, who's all about you, who loves you, who loves God, because you're going to need them. You better get into that word, because the word's telling you what's coming down the pipe. You're going to need somebody thirsty. I'm out.